Hey guys, got a big bowl of watermelon here. Uh, I wanted to make a follow-up video to my last video that um, kind of stirred up a lot of controversy. I want to say first off that like wasn't my intention to like cause a bunch of drama. Not that it caused like a ton of drama, but it did cause some. Um, but I just sort of wanted to express my opinion on a few things that were bothering me that I felt were kind of a problem. And um, it's my personal opinion. I don't consider myself an expert. I'm just relating things through what I've seen in my own experiences and some things that I thought needed to be said. So I don't, didn't intend to offend anybody. As Harley says, just sharing my comments and criticisms. And seriously, just sharing my comments and criticisms. Um, and I realized that, like, when I say I don't like the term fruitarian, and, and there are pre people out there who go by the term the fruitarian, or have the Instagram account fruitarian, um, that they could, you know, take it personally, or feel like, not necessarily take it personally, but feel like I am singling them out and attacking them. And um, I, that wasn't my intention. I feel like I'm pretty good friends with Mike Arnstein, Victoria Arnstein, so I, I don't think you should feel like I'm attacking you. Um, and I guess it is kind of a catch-22 thing. It's like, it's a really good, catchy term. But at the same time, I think a lot of people go wrong with like trying to only focus on the fruit and not focus on the vegetables, but on the other hand, like, it is what differentiates us from any other diet or lifestyle out there, that we eat so much fruit, with no other, there's no other plan where it's like, you only eat fruit, and then, you know, cereal or something, like, <laughs> why is that so funny, I don't know, um, uh, I guess what differentiates us. But, so, it's tricky, it's like, you want to use that term, and you want to say Woodstock Fruit, it's not the Woodstock Fruit and Vegetable Festival, it's the Woodstock Fruit Festival, and I understand, and I, I think it's all good, and I, I don't have a solution as far as like, oh, we should call it something else, because labels kind of suck, but I do feel like there's an overemphasis on fruit, even though fruit is like so important, I feel like there is an overemphasis to the degree to the degree where some people lose track of the vegetables. And I think that's a bad thing. Um, because some people aren't successful on the way Harley and Freely prescribe the diet. Like, and I feel like that a lot of that gets swept under the rug. And Doug's even said that he's had to like show people another way who like, tried what they did and didn't work, but then they do what, what he prescribes, and it's pretty much what I've been following, and they have a lot more success. So, I think either way approach could work for other people. Personally, for me, when I do the 30 bananas a day approach, like, I got lean right away. So I'm not saying like, oh, if you eat too much fruit, it'll make you fat. Um, I mean, for me personally, like, you know, like, this is what I looked like after maybe, like, two months of, of uh, being, like, 80% raw, eating mostly bananas. Um, so, but I know there are other people who have said to me, like, I gained weight. Um, I just dial back and eat more vegetables. Personally, that didn't happen to me. Even when I was eating, like, high raw and, like, lots of rice as, like, a supplementation, like, I was still lean. I don't disagree with it, like that that approach makes you fat or that it's like wrong. I just felt like when I was doing it, I couldn't maintain 100% raw. And I felt like I had an unhealthy relationship with food. I was like constantly trying to eat enough fruit that I wouldn't crave cooked foods anymore. But it was like no matter how much I ate, I would still crave cooked foods. I think it was because I wasn't really eating enough vegetables, and so I was like craving savory, salty stuff, so I could eat as much sweet stuff as I wanted. But 
it was like be like stuffed to the gills with banana smoothie, and then like still go eat eat like eat a burrito bowl because I wanted something salty, and salad just didn't appeal. So, do, am I telling people stop using the term fruitarian? Like, that's I don't, I don't know, maybe, I don't think so, think so but it's not going to happen. I'm not like, Mike Arnstein, you have to change your name, and Ted Carr, you have to change your Instagram account. Well, no, I'm not here to tell people what to do. I'm just here to offer my comments and criticisms and say, hey, you know, this didn't really work for me. I had an unhealthy relationship with food when I was doing this. I had a hard time being 100% raw. It didn't feel right. And so now I'm doing this, and it works a lot better, and I'm been 100% raw since, like, beginning of last month. So, sort of like, a month and a half or something. Um, and I like it a lot. I just wanted to tell people about it. And other people came into the comments in the video and were like, hey, I'm going through the same problem. Uh, what would I do? Can you give me some dinner recipes? So I did that. So I just want to come out and say, like, nothing personal against anybody. And uh, I'm not bashing, like, anybody. I'm just saying, like, this is what worked for me, and it's slightly different than you know, what other people advise. I don't want to give people that option, because I feel like I get swept under the rug. And I don't want to create a place where it's not okay to, to disagree with people. Because I think it should be okay to voice your dissent. And... I don't want anybody like taking that personally. And you have people that like bonk out on the diet, like Denise Minger or the Raw Bras, and they go, oh, 801010 didn't work. Well, you probably weren't doing 801010. And, you know, some of the problems they had might have been avoided if they had done it, you know, Doug's approach instead of Harley's approach. I don't know. But I feel like. You know, some of these people who, they, their whole history gets deleted off 30 bananas a day like they never existed because they were unsuccessful with it. And it's like maybe if they had, you know, given the option of a different approach, they might have done better with it. Like I had to struggle for a while and figure out what worked for me. It took some time. But I stuck with it, but not everybody is that persistent, you know? So... When it comes to the, the term, the label, like fruitarian, should we stop using it? I don't think so. I think it's a great, you know, marketing term. There's a lot of benefits to that, but I think we need some sort of way of, like, educating people once they come into the movement that, like, hey, vegetables are really important, too. And don't don't lose the forest to the trees only thinking about the fruit. So, I'm about clarifies things. Um... If you still have questions or like, you know, disagreements with me, feel free to voice them. I'm totally open to having a dialogue. And, um, hope eating all this watermelon is not like, getting in the way of this video. I feel like it's getting really long. I just kind of want to wrap it up and say thanks for watching. And keep making videos. And, um, if you have any comments, questions for me, hit me up. Video ideas, love to hear it. I'm really enjoying all uh, doing this and interacting with you guys. So, have a good day. And eat your fruits and eat your vegetables too. Adios.